Our Bible reading for today is Second Kings chapter 6. In this chapter, we found the story of Elisha, who made a miracle by causing the submerged borrowed axe head to flow on the water. The next story, the king of Aram was at war with Israel. Every time the king of Syria made plan to ambush and attack, the king of Israel knew all of Syria's plans beforehand. The king of Aram summoned his officers and demanded of them, Please tell me who is a traitor among us. None of us, my lord the king, said one of his officers, but Elisha, the prophet who is in Israel, tells the king of Israel the very words you speak, even in your bedroom. Go find out where he is, the king ordered. The report came back. He is in Dothan. Then he sent horses and chariots and a strong force there. When the servant of the man of God got up and went out early the next morning, an army with horses and chariots had surrounded the city. Oh no, my lord, what shall we do? The servant asked. Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Elisha prayed, Lord, open his eyes that he may see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, Behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. As the enemy came down toward him, Elisha prayed to the Lord, Strike this army with blindness. So God struck them with blindness, and Elisha led them to Samaria. Then Elisha prayed, Lord, open the eyes of this man. Then the Lord opened their eyes, and there they were inside Samaria. When the king of Israel saw them, he asked Elisha, Shall I kill them, my father? No. Prepare a great feast for them, and after that, send them back to their master. So the bands from Aram stopped raiding Israel's territory. The last story in this chapter was about a great famine in Samaria, which was besieged by Ben Hadad, king of Aram, and his entire army. The famine was so severe, even a mother killed and ate her own son. Then the king tore his robes and wore sackcloth. He threatened to kill Elisha. Tomorrow, in chapter 7, we are going to find what will happen next. Please read 2 Kings chapter 6 to get the whole story in full.